I mean, you've done so many fantastic roles, but I sense you absolutely love doing this. And it can't be bad that that's your office. <laughs> Looking at that wonderful ocean, I mean, the location's brilliant, isn't yeah, it? The, the only um, rub about that was having to probably revoice a lot of the stuff because of the crashing waves <laughs> which went right <laughs> on our doorstep. But apart from that, no, it was absolutely a joyous experience. Um, yeah. and, and I felt a bit like the Maggie character. She has this terrible brain tumour. Yes. Mm -hmm. I suppose weighing up the pros and cons, she sees her life as being finite and mm. um, thinks, well, do I want this? which is, you know, hospice treatment, blah, blah, mm. blah, and, and everybody cosseting her, and, or do I want to embrace life, what's left of it, or unless it's a miracle, of course, there could well be, <laughs> um, you know, embrace it fully and mm. just live life, which she felt she'd never really done mm. before. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It must be lovely to get a character and get, get her start another drama that has been embraced and, and, and enjoyed uh, with, with such great passion. Yeah, it's amazing, actually, because, I mean, talking about... What was that thing called again? Uh, d d d uh, yeah, yeah. DA. Um, <laughs> DA. It, it was a Sunday night yeah. slot on yeah. ITV, and it seems to have a similar... Good Karma Hospital seems to have mm. a similar reaction. Yeah. People just wanting to sit down as a family or whatever and, and watch it of a... Sunday nights. And great for you to get such a role that people have loved so much after being Mrs. Hughes in Downton Abbey because, I mean, people just adore her. Haven't you got fans that have even had tattoos in weird places? Well, it wasn't that weird. Well, it wasn't that weird, but just having a tattoo in the first place because I used to wear a chatelaine. Yes. Yeah, with the keys on. Yeah. Yeah. She had that tattooed well, on her hip. That is quite weird. It is quite weird. Uh, Especially because yeah. she had it on the wrong side and I told her <laughs> oh, that. You shouldn't have told her! I know, her. that was wrong. But she forgave me, it's all right. When Jim was in recently, uh, he mentioned that there is a script, or he had heard that there is a script. Uh, do you I know anything about this? He said dates, have been, <laughs> dates were being cleared Jim? in the diary. Jim? Yes, uh, really? Is this, or uh, they were asking well, tentatively, is, has there been any more movement on that, Phyllis? Um, <clears throat> I... Well, obviously, no. Obviously, you can't spy TV, so you can tell us anything you know. <laughs> you won't tell him, David. No, obviously, things are really tricky. Making a movie... It, at the best of times, mm. and comes with a whole trough of, of difficulties. What, and getting everyone together? Yeah, there's that, for the time. yes. It's, get the script together, getting the... I mean, there's so many of us. Mm -hmm. in, in normal film situations, you might have a core cast of half a dozen or whatever, but this is a core cast of thousands, it yes. feels like, at times. And so... Herding cats, you know. The, the good yeah. You're and, and still beating around the bush. Is it going to happen? <laughs> I don't know. Would you um, do it if it oh, did? The, the will is definitely there with, mm. with everybody involved. The will yeah. is definitely there. So let's, fingers crossed, that we can make it all come about. It must. At some stage. It has to, doesn't it? There's yeah. just too much bad before yeah. it. We love it too much. We love it too much. And we'd love all to do it, get back together yeah. again. Yeah. And, you know, have one last hurrah, we certainly would. 